Hello my loves and welcome back to the depths of the catacombs. Welcome back to this nice little corridor and this nice little fire where our friend the sort of Cthulhuoid giant skeleton is hard hard at work forging weapons for no one in particular apparently just for his own amusement. Hmm. Welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, right, we are going to have a go at one of the bosses of this area. There's a couple of bosses in this area. Uh, the one we're going to fight is Spindle, who we discussed last time. But before we do Spindle, we need to handle this area first. And handling this area is tough because of these bastards. These are wheel skeletons, and they're pains in the arse. They're really tough. And now they're dead. <laughs> I like the way that one sort of stuck on and in me. That's rather amusing. Now, we've got to be really bloody careful in this area. There are loads of these guys. And they've got a very, 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 very high level of perception. So they can activate, like, very, very quickly. Like this one here. I mean, actually, we're not doing too badly against them. Havel's armor is really doing well for us, so, um... Ah! Shit! Aha! We're not doing too badly, actually, all things considered, you know? I've usually died at least once to these guys by now. Ah, spoke too soon, maybe. Or it may just be that, um... Well, we're doing all right. So, pfft, who knew, eh? Who knew? There's a... Ah! Shit! Ah, yes, I see you there. Aha! Okay. You see, this is the other area. They're only in this area and that area in the painted world of Ariamis, uh, where we've already encountered them. They're harder in this area, that's for damn sure. It's the open space. It, it makes them very, very bloody tough. Now, the boss we're going to face is through here. Spindle. A uh, very, very strange boss. And actually, if you can face it early on, if you can work your way down here, worth facing. Well worth facing. Um, it's not that hard. You can kill it from the get-go. And also, it gives you a bonus that is absolutely incredible early on in the game. Okay. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, this is all sorts of good, isn't it? Uh... That spindle. It's three creatures bound together as one. Mother, father, and child. Oh dear. And they don't like the fact that we're here. Now, this is tough. It can spawn other versions of itself. Which can be very, very tough indeed. Ah, I don't want to target the fake one. I want the real one. If at all possible, there's the real one. Hanging out at the back. Oh, that wasn't the real one. Bastard. Are you the real one? You're the real one! Aha! It's not that tough. As long as you can avoid getting caught in a crossfire, you'll be alright. It's nearly dead. Nearly dead. Not a difficult boss at all. See what I mean? You can kill it right away. It's done. That's the end. Away it goes. Collapsing into nothing. And we now have... The right of kindling, which basically allows us to kindle bonfires beyond the normal uh, 10 Estus flasks. I think we can go up to 20 or 25 or something ridiculous like that. The Mask of the Mother. Yeah, very cool. Oh, look at this. It's a giant open tomb, look. Giant open tomb is where you fight kindle. Uh, it's the tomb of something very, 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 very big indeed. Very big indeed. And look at this. It's just, it's a kind of laboratory, a necromantic laboratory where Spindler's been gathering 
tomes on magic and necromancy in order to separate themselves. That's what they were trying to do. Um, unfortunately, in the effort, they, they failed, and all they managed to do was create clones of themselves um, in their tortured form, and there are lots of them around. Now, this area is a pain in the ass. This is the giant's tomb, and it's not very nice. For one thing, it's dark as hell, as you can see. That's not good. It's also infested with really, really bloody big, powerful enemies. Not nice. We need to be damn careful down here. Some of these enemies, I'm telling you, they are tough. Hmm, what have we here? Soul of a Proud Knight. Well, that's interesting, but not really what we want. Did I manage to pick up the lantern? If we did, that's going to make this a lot easier. I don't think we did. I don't recall getting it. No. Shit. Oh well, that's fine. I don't know whether the pyromancies help here. Ow. Another interesting thing, it does not give us a uh, bonfire in here. Yeah, leaves you to it. But there is a uh, sort of skull's head lantern that we can get that's really useful down here. There's also some very, very, very nasty enemies indeed. These mark the way, these sort of lights. Unfortunately, they also mark the way into deathly danger, so we need to be very, very careful. See, there are multiple ways down. We just need to watch where we're going, and we'll be alright. The two... Oh, can you see it? That's not a normal skeleton! I can tell you that! It's a very, very big bloody skeleton. A very big skeleton indeed, that doesn't like pyromancy. Aha! And doesn't like holy weapons either, so it's actually not too bad at this point. Aha! Goodbye. There- oh look, there's Ezolith! You can see- I love the interconnectivity of this game. You can actually get to Ezolith from here. There are ways. Hello. What happened? Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Well, shit. That was my fault. That was my fault for being a dick. For being far too ambitious. Um, I should have waited. I should have gone all the way around. Oh, well. And yes, it has brought us all the way back here. Mm. Very frustrating. And no, I'm not fighting the wheel skeletons again. Fuck them. I wonder what, you know, I like, I wonder what takes a, a skeleton to do that to itself, to strap itself to a wheel and whirl around like some sort of evil dervish. I mean, it's very amusing, don't get me wrong, I think it's hilarious. It's just puzzling as well and bizarre. Oh, I wish I had that lantern. It is, it's here somewhere, it's actually in the catacomb somewhere, I just can't remember where. And I doubt we'll find it now, because um, I've pretty much got everything uh, from the catacombs, so uh, I don't need to worry about it. I don't know what the different coloured lights designate. Fuck! Fuck! Well... Shit! I'm gonna need some sort of light source to get through this, I really am. I'm gonna have to go and find the... Um the uh, the lantern. I cannot do this without it. That's all right though. That'll take us um. That'll take us this way, which is quite a cool way to go. Let's do the wheel skeletons first, so that we're not uh, we're not getting harassed throughout. They're not that bad actually. You can take them down one at a time, and they're okay. I've said that now, of course. And now all of them are coming after me. Ah! Ah! What happened the last time? I was fighting the wheel skeletons, and I accidentally hit him, and then he attacked me, and then I had to kill him. 
and then it all went wrong. Okay. You next. Aha! Come on, then. Oh, there's a couple of them coming after me. Lovely. Let's lead them into this bottleneck, then. Ow! Did I just get an extra Estus? That's nice. I'm gonna need it at this rate. Ow! Wanker! He killed me! Wow! Oh, <laughs> the other one stuck to him. That's kind of fun. That's kind of silly. Sinister bastard, aren't you? Ah, oh, we've done all that. Crest of Artorius and all that. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're well aware. We've done all that. So we have one moment of success when we kill Spindle, and then just an endless, endless failure afterwards. That sounds about right for this game. Ah! I mean, you can do this. You can sort of stick them here, look, and then kill them all at once. That's useful. Oh, he's going to charge. Aha! Gotcha. I mean, they're worth a lot of um, souls, actually. So what you can do is just work your levels up here. That's what I had to do um, when I first came here. Because I got well stuck here, I can tell you. I could not beat this area. I couldn't even get out. Because I didn't have the, uh, the ability to warp from bonfire to bonfire. So uh, there's nothing I could do, you know? Aha! Not doing too badly. Got to be careful, though. There is a, a very tough Knight of Gwyn around here. He's up there somewhere. Um, very hard to take down, indeed. I'm going to try and get him to drop down. I'm going to try and whittle him down. He's up there. There he is. Very tough, this guy. With his axe. Oh! Oh, my pyromancies do a number on him! Oh, brilliant! He's nearly dead. He is dead! Brilliant! Oh, that makes me very pleased. But there's lots of wheel skeletons now. Yay! Where's the bottleneck? Not through here. Where the hell are we? Oh, no, this is it. This is it. There. Oh, no, it's not! I got totally turned around somewhere. Totally turned around. That's alright, though. I can take him down here. He says, while getting massacred by them. I've got to say, Havel's armor is giving us uh, a really good, some really good protection. Um, hats off to uh, the comments for the, the uh, giving me the advice on that one, definitely. It's helping out enormously. That item over there, you need to drop down from that bridge. Um, I'll have to do it a little bit later. But you'll, re you'll recognize this area. It's the way we came in um, earlier and then I got massacred. And I'm, I've got a wheel skeleton stuck on me. Ugh. Don't like that at all. God, Havel, how did Havel get anywhere in this? It's so cumbersome and awkward, isn't it? Hello! Ha-ha! Now, there are two ways down here, um, and I'm not sure which one we want. Um, I'm not sure we want any, to be honest. This will bring us up into this area. Where are we? Oh, this is the area with the Titanite demon. Who's very bloody tough indeed. There he is. Hello, sir. How's you? You alright? Like, very bloody tough. Oh! I'm just gonna jab him until he dies. 
Assuming he does, of course, and we don't. Doesn't seem likely at the moment. God, he's tough. Very bloody tough indeed. Oh. oh, we were so close to killing him there. So close. Oh, God damn. We can kill him. Yeah, we could definitely kill him. Which we probably will go and do. Because he's damn worth it, I can tell you. Right. Run, 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 run. Don't want to deal with the wheel skeletons at the moment. Run, 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 run. Ah, that killed loads of them. Some of them, anyway. Get out of my way! Ow! Bloody hell! Got a very big arrow sticking out of me. Could have done without that. Right, and we want to go up again, go away. We still got an arrow sticking out of us. No, that's our sword. Oh, good. Okay, right. Let's try this one again, shall we? Oh, fuck no. This is not going well. Oh, fucking hell, the skeletons are here. I can't deal with all of them, no way. No way can I deal with all of them, not a chance. He's got me caught, shit. No, I can't deal with all of these, no way, I've got to get out. Fuck. Oh, you are kidding! My souls are just there! Ah! Pfft, failure! Just the reek of failure is all over this video. If I had some sorceries, I could probably do a number on him, but I don't, unfortunately. Right. Go away, you. Get off, for fuck's sake! Ah! That will hopefully kill a load of them. Aha! God, just everything in this area is relentless, isn't it? It just does not leave you alone. Right, I'm going to try and sneak past the Titanite Demon and just get the item and leave him alone. These guys have just got to die, unfortunately, because they're just going to keep coming back harassing me, so... They've just got to die. Again. There we go. Right, let's try and get past without disturbing the Titanite Demon this time. Not likely, but um, I'm sure he's guarding a cool item. But, but, no. <laughs> it better be good. Eye of Death. I can't remember what that does. One would expect it to be rather straightforward, would one not? But um, apparently not. Hmm. Yeah, there are areas we have yet to explore here. Ow! Bloody hell! And I don't have the lantern. I'm fairly certain I don't anyway. No...
just double checking, just in case. Dragon Head Stone, Lore Phantoms from Other Worlds, oh that's cool. So if I want to fight with someone from another plane of existence, I can lure them here. Don't particularly want to do that, that's not my bag. You can get a helmet, I think from Ezolith, that has um, a luminous effect, so you don't need to use um, the lantern. Uh, just seeing if any of these have that effect on them. I don't think they do, unfortunately. No. Oh well. Until we find it, we can't really do anything. Now, if we drop down somewhere around here, we can get that item. Whoa! Ow! Sod. It's very difficult to see. There it is, look. Don't know what it is, but um, if we drop... Oh, go away! And you. Ah, well that got you, didn't it? Got me as well, but it got you. Uh, if we drop about here, we should be alright. Yeah. There, yeah. Getting good at this. Ah, uh, that's not worth it. This might be, though. Who knows? Whoop. Whoop. Right on the edge. Okay. Interesting. And a mace. Okay. Fair enough. I suppose. Nothing overly special, but it's alright. Go away! And you. There is a- I don't know whether it's in this one or in Dark Souls 3, but you can get a spear that's got a lightning effect that's really good. I think that's in Dark Souls 3. I'm not sure, though. Ow! You need to be very careful. I don't want to hit my friend by accident and aggro him. That would be bad. Right. Okay. There is an item up there as well that we haven't got yet, so I'm going to have to go and try for that, because I don't know what it is. It may be the lantern, I don't know. I can't remember where the lantern is. I might have to look it up. Unless he sells us one. He might, he might be able to sell us one. Let's have a look. Get out of it, you. Maybe our friend can help us. Alright, oh, fair enough. Uh, modify? No. Reinforce? What can you reinforce, me old love? Nope. Nothing that we want reinforcing, unfortunately. Oh, Velka's Rapier. We can do that. Yeah, absolutely do that. Every little helps there. Repair equipment. A stock? No. Oh, we can't repair Velka's Rapier. That's interesting. That may be because it's a holy weapon. Or maybe he just doesn't need repairing, I don't know. There we go. Uh, Homeward Bone, Titanite Shard. Nah, he can't sell us anything worthwhile. Not really. Titanite Shards are good, but... Um, what's he got to say? Alright, sod you then. Sod you. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so if I head up this way... Oh, you're here. No, uh, die, die, die. Oh, sod off then. I'm not going to bother with you. Hello. Okay. I mean, you're following me everywhere, aren't you? It's like having a stalker. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Must have got stuck in here or something. Right, I think if we drop through this one. That's it, there we are. And what's this? Soul of a Proud Knight, not worth it. So not worth it. <laughs> um, okay. 
Well, apart from wading through the darkness, the only way I see to go is back... Um, back up through the catacombs at the moment. So let's try that one. It seems to be the only way to go right now. Hello. There is literally nowhere else apart from trying the Tomb of the Giants in the dark, and I'm not doing that. We've been down there, haven't we? Yes. As I say, there are still places to explore, so we may come across the lantern, which will help us get through. It's basically like a like a head um, that you hold up. Hey, up! Is that the Titanite demon? It is, and he's still angry. Oh dear! Deary me! Holds a bit of a grudge, doesn't he? Right now, these guys. You can trick these guys into hurling themselves over the edge. Or you can just kill them. Either way, you know? Oh, come off it. You went over the edge there and you know it. Ah. I love the cutlasses. Why is it with skeletons and cutlasses in mythology and, like, fantasy films and fantasy video games? Skeletons always have cutlasses. Don't know why. I don't have any Estus flasks. Damn. That's not good. Hi. Now, are you going to die or are you being kept alive by a bleeding necromancer? Soon find out. Nope, you're dead. Good. Oh, we're back here. Okay, right. So, if I go back up... I can go and um, power myself up, actually, and then I can come back here and head down the way. Hello! Hi! How you doing? It's raining skeletons. Ow, fuck. That hurt. Lovely. I can repair, um, Velka's rapier. There we go. Right. There are still things to find around here. And still one necromancer. I believe there's one left. And I think we can find him by going this way. No, not this way. This way. If we drop off somewhere around here... Where are we? Where are we indeed? No, we need to go through and round. Got mapping this area. It feels like a very old-fashioned video game. You know, like back in the Amiga days when you had to keep graph paper near you so that you could map out the games that you played. It's like playing Waxworks or uh, Elvira or something like that. Oh, I'm not fighting you here. No chance. Hello, what's that? The Great Scythe. Ooh, I'm going to I'm gonna um, use that. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, bother. Oh, shit. You guys are back. Wonderful. You know, there was a time when that would have killed me stone dead in one go. I'm glad that it doesn't anymore. If I'm not careful, that's going to carry me right over the edge. Aha! Right, the worst of it is I haven't even gotten a level up while I'm down here, which is bad. Could certainly do with a couple of levels up. I may go and do that off screen somewhere. Hmm. Right, this way. 
Something... <laughs> the skeletons keep leaping off of things and killing themselves. Which is amusing. I've said that now, so of course I'm going to fall off and kill myself. Right. This way. Hi! Yeah, the necromancer is around here somewhere. The other necromancer. Um, I just don't know where. The last one, I believe, as well. What's that? Hello? Soul of a Proud Knight? Nope, not interested in that. Hi! Sod off! There's one left somewhere, I just don't know where. Now, with any luck, I can get them all to fly off of here. That would be useful. There's so many of them. Maybe they'll not want another off, you know? God, look at them. So many of the bloody things. Ah, oh, I'm getting multiple hits here. No, not good. Oh, they're disrupting my healing. Bad, 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 bad. Yes. Die. And stay dead. That would be lovely. Some of you aren't going to stay dead. I can see you're not. Yeah, they can inflict bleeding damage on you, which is bad. Redundant, I know, but there you go. Right, so we got the item in there. Got the item in there. I'm just being thorough, ladies and gents. I'm being a bit of a completionist, to be honest. Oh, pack it in with the silly shield, will you? There's a couple of items we didn't get in this pit here. Now, this looks very much like the pit to the abyss, does it not? Did we do this one? Yeah, we did this. Now. Whoop. Fuck! Shite! <laughs> oh, this is going so well. Okay. Right, so we've done a little bit of the catacombs. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, da -da 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 -da. We can warp. I still want to have a go at the... Uh, we can make it through the uh, the Tomb of the Giants. We can make it through. I swear we can. It's just going to take a little bit of doing. That's all. And I kind of want to give it a go. Um, the only reason I want to give it a go is because Nito, if we can get to him, he's one of the easiest of the Lord Souls. You, w you just won't believe. He himself is really bloody easy. The only thing that makes him hard is what he's surrounded by. He is a necromancer. He's the necromancer, the great necromancer. The first of the undead in this world. The first creature to ever die, by all accounts. That's what he is. He represents death itself. But he himself is really easy. It's, he, it's the fact that he's surrounded by giant skeletons and little skeletons and all sorts of nastiness. If we can just make it, if we can model our way through the dark, we should be alright. We should be okay. And there's no reason why we shouldn't. As long as we're bloody careful, there's no reason why not. Is there now? There's Ezolith again. I mean, it's very nice that they left these lights for us. 
Yes, I can see you. That's very creepy, isn't it? Very creepy indeed. What? Oh, shit! Goodbye. Okay. They're not even the worst of it. There are these really weird ones that are sort of crouched on the ground on all fours, like, um, sort of like where, like werewolves, like the, what the hell is going? <laughs> Fair enough. God, look, there's Ezolith. That is so cool. Uh. Someone's going to start firing bows at us. I can hear it. Uh. Hello. Shit. Well, that fucked me, didn't it? We can't do that. No way can we do that. We need, um, we need the lantern. I'm going to have to go and find it. Shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. However, there are other things we can do. Uh, stone dragon. I keep, I can't remember what that is. I'm just going to go and have a look. I cannot for the life of me remember what that is. Oh, it's you! Oh, it's the Ash Lake! Oh, I forgot! I wonder, are we are we capable enough now to take down the, um, the Hydra? Should we go and have a look? We may just be able to do it now. We may be strong enough. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> oh, this place is so cool. The Ash Lake. Wow. So pretty. Now, if I remember correctly, we may actually be able to, um... We may be able to advance Sigmire's quest from here, if I remember correctly. Not sure. We'll soon find out, because he'll be here if we can. There's the, uh... The Hydra. Now, I do want to kill both of them, because they're both pretty much essential. If I remember correctly, this one's the harder of the two. Uh, which doesn't fill me with joy. Before we do anything, I'm going to go and uh, use the bonfire. Oh, it's going to fly. Watch. This is pretty incredible. Out it comes. <laughs> amazing, yeah? So cool. That is amazing. I love the fact that you get to see the entirety of the creature as well. They didn't necessarily have to do that. All they needed to program and create were the heads. Uh, they didn't have to, like, create the entire body, but they did. And that's really cool. Hmm. Okay. Right, I'm going to use the bonfire there and I'm going to have a go at him and see, uh, see if he's as hard as he was when we last fought him. Probably. Oh, it's doing it again. It's incredible. Look at that! Oh, it it's killing the other creatures, look. Am I getting the souls for it? Eh. That's kind of cool.
Okay. Right, let's give this a go. What's he doing? What is he doing? Not entirely sure, to be honest. Well, no, don't want to get caught by that. Right, fuck you. Oh, that holding up your shield to that does not help. I can tell you. <laughs> no, that will kill you stone dead. <laughs> Oh my god, that will kill you dead. Okay, my dears, let's try that one again, shall we? We may still not be strong enough to take this thing down, but um, I'm going to give it a go. We are a little bit stronger now. Not necessarily more skilled, though. It is me playing this got to avoid that water like you wouldn't believe that is a vicious nasty attack from the uh the hydra there this is the nastier of the two actually what's it gonna do hello oh it's gonna do the water attack wonderful run Aha! now what you're gonna do hmm what you gonna do Oh, you're going to strike. Good. Hey! Aha! Well, you got me, but I got you! No, we're no stronger. We're not doing any more damage. Shit. Oh, well. We need something that this thing is weak against. We really do. Ha! Because this is going to take forever. What you doing? Ah! Shit! I didn't see it. I didn't see its uh, tell there. What you doing? Ah! Oh, run, run, run! And again! Oh, <laughs> shit! Ah! Oh! God almighty! That! Ow! No, we're not strong enough to take that down yet. I'm sure we could. It will just take forever. So, um... Uh, I don't want to do it, but we've got to go through. Sadly, we do have to go through the giant's tomb, ladies and gents. I found that the lantern is down below. Um, we've we've got a couple of choices. We could either do, we could do the depths, we could do the catacombs, or we could do um, what's his face, the ceaseless discharge. And I'm not doing that. So let's tread very lightly. And brave the catacombs, shall we? Ow. They are fun, aren't they? I do love the skeletons. <laughs> you know, I don't know whether they're in Dark Souls 2, but they're certainly in Dark Souls 3. They're a pain in that, too. Alright. I do love this look. It is genuinely a giant's tomb. Look, something very, very large was housed here before it rose up again. Perhaps Nito. Maybe this is a Nito's tomb. I don't know. Uh, I don't have any helmet or anything that gives off light either, unfortunately. That makes this tricky. We're just going to have to brave it and uh, do as best we can until we get the lantern. Fuck. Fuck! Well, this is just all sorts of brilliance, isn't it? All sorts of brilliance. I'm doing very well. What? Why is it brought me back to Ash Lake? Did I not, um... Ah... Uh, I'm now wondering. I'm now wondering. Oh, let's try him. Let's try Ceaseless Discharge. We want armor that's got really high fire defense for this guy. So we may have to get rid of Havel's, which is a bit sad because I'm really enjoying Havel's armor. Let's have a look, shall we? High fire defense is what we want. Uh, let's start right at the top. Uh, no. No. 
No, no, no. That's pretty good, but still not as good as what we've got. No, no, no. That's pretty good. But it does it has it has only the same fire defense and worse everything else. So no no no. Ooh. That's magic defense. So not that great. No. Though we have the best helmet for fire defense, it seems. Uh, armor. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ooh, that's got brilliant fire damage. Uh, fire defense. So we'll have that. What about the gloveses? Let's have a look. Mmm, that's pretty good. But that may be really heavy. Hang on. Hmm. But it is the best one for fire defense, so uh, we're going with it. What about the leggings? No, we don't want magic defense. Ooh, the skirt. We're going to look really weird. Actually, we look pretty cool. I, I like that. So there. Um, and let's take a ring with fire defense as well. Okay, let's try this then. Let's see if this helps us out against Mr. Ceaseless Discharge, shall we? Oh, what about the shield? We could maybe use a shield with fire defense as, as well. Um, we may not have one, actually. Mm, where are the shields? Where are the shields? Nope, we don't really. We've actually got the best one for fire defense. All right, fair enough. Right, let's give him a go and hopefully maybe even defeat him. Who knows? Who knows? If so, that means we can go through Ezolith, which would be fun. Because all the lava sort of um, freezes up. It stops flowing, basically, uh, when you defeat Mr. Ceaseless Discharge. Ah. Oh, look at him over there. Just having a wonderful time of it. I don't think he is. Mr. Ceaseless Discharge over there um, is described, uh, despite what his name might imply, he is not having a lot of fun. He's having a very hard time of it indeed. Whoop. Uh, according to his background, he's massively tortured by the um, the boils and pustules of fire that erupt all over his body. So, yeah. And also, I believe he's the only brother of the original Quilarg family. The only son. All the rest are sisters. That must have been fun growing up. Uh, okay, let's try this. This may give us a fighting chance, at least. Hello! You are very big, aren't you? And phenomenally intimidating. What you doing? Oh, 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 oh. Well... That proves that the uh, the armor is good, because that would have killed us in one go, otherwise. Ah! What you doing? Hello, Mr. Discharge. Ah! Ah! Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Jesus. Wow. I really need to learn how to fight this guy, don't I? Because I'm not doing very well. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back in Quilarg's Domain, one of my favourite areas of the game. Because I, I just like to come here and watch the twitches and the movements, because she's amazing. Look at her. She is absolutely spectacular. I love how sort of diseased and calcified the spider part of her is. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. When we come back, we will have a good old go at Ceaseless Discharge, and we'll beat him this time. We will. Until then, ladies and gents, bye-bye!